quick uh, to see what's going on. They say three. Two, hell. Yeah. Pick a DM. Okay, it could be that one. Real quick, I'm going to do three piles. Let's see what's happening. Okie dokie. All right. So, this is pile number one. DM. See what's going on with him. He says, I'm sorry for hurting you. I never wanted you to feel bad anyway. In any way. I'm sorry. I'm somewhere between giving up and seeing how much more I can take. He says, I don't care how hard being together is. Nothing is worse than being apart. And why can't you just tell me what you feel because how you act is confusing me. Let's see what's in the heart of the matter. This masculine, clear. Right now, that's a clarifier. Ooh, ooh, let me see what comes out. That's clarified. Did the opposite. Okay. Clear. There you go. Wonderful. Okay, so this divine master here, enjoy the bliss of how they time together. He wants to get away. Uh, right now, things are lining up and he can't really see what's happening, but he does feel like spirit is lining something up for him. He's starting to get a deeper knowing about some things. He's less on the illusions that's going on. He's becoming wiser about some things and less on looking at losers so he's using his intuition and his awareness much more than what it is because now he's coming to the understanding that you are there's no place like home i got a new term now that the divine masculine says say runner and chaser did not dynamic it is the understanding now that you are the lighthouse you're the one that's staying there keeping the place safe and secure and are waiting for the divine masculine in some ways keeping watch uh for him to return okay now i hear somebody said the hell i am whichever way it is that you're the ones that is the stable thing like what lighthouses represent okay you're the lighthouse for the world rather you on your mission or then you're the lighthouse for the divine masculine. And he understands that. Right now he's in explorer mode, mode where he's exploring. He say he feels no understanding he needs to talk uh, as well with him. Uh, and let me see because I don't want this all day here. Okay, I did the heart space, which he really does not like me to do. Uh, let's see what does he think about the connection. Clear. He feels like he wants to be in his heart space. He knows that he wants to really give you the world. He wants to do a little bit of everything to win you over, which is he understands he wants to be nurtured by you. He wants you to help to make this connection. But he understands in order for that to happen and him being in his heart space, he's got to make some actions. He's got to offer this cup, his money and things in the material world has got to be right. He's got to get rid of the... Uh, sword here which is conflict and thinking and he needs knows he needs to get into the mindset of wishes fulfilled okay all right then and so then what the source clear want him to do mm -mm, i ain't going down there thank you what the source want him to do because i want this brief and short and to the point okay once source say i want you to take some action in your emotions and your thinking that's what source wants this person to do okay if that's your guy that's what he's got to that's what he's got to deal with i'm gonna swap this out because that's out of order thank you all right thank you got uh bachelor I, that's usually i call it my bachelor my dm bachelor number one the ambassador number two this guy says please don't doubt my love for you it's the only thing i'm sure of I can't stop thinking about you. You are on my mind 24-7. Very good. What is the heart of the matter for this divine masculine? <laughs> Clear. Okay. 
okay? Right now, the heart of the matter is that he's got to express his love. He got to go ahead and make the gesture. This divine masculine is stopping the flow of emotions. He's got his hand there stopping the divine uh, feminine energy from really uh, fully expressing herself. He knows that he wants this new life, especially emotionally, but he knows in order for that, he's got to honor his emotions. And he also understands that right now, being in that kind of vibe or in the energy at that time, he is really creating a never-ending story. He knows that he feels like time is running out, and he knows he needs to make some type of action. He understands that he also has to learn how to love himself first as well, because that is causing an issue for him. He is one that is still holding on to the past, and this past might be what's stopping him to make forward movement, but he also knows that he's got to respect, he's got to make, uh, love himself first so he can be able to romantically be attractive to not only himself, but also to you. He's got this message from source, from an unlikely source he's gotten this message from. And so now, uh, in order for him to have this new beginning to birth something new, he's understanding that he's got to do this, and it starts within, with himself. He understands this, Divine Master understands that where he's at is not enough love here. He's been playing the person who has been uh, bowing down, uh, catering to other people's needs, please people pleasing other people as well. And he's saying right now, this is not is this not enough to keep the relationship going? He's gotten to this point because right now, now he knows that where he's at is not for him. He understands that he's been playing chess. Uh, checkers, not chess, as Jubilee 11 never says. And so at this time, he's got to strategize. He's understanding right now where he's at. Everything is black and white. Uh, and he's taking a look and introspection in the man in the mirror. He's staying present in the now because he understands that if he stays in the now, he's able to start this new beginning. He wants to open up the doors to where he is. He understands that the now, where he is currently in, is a present to him uh, as well, as they saying, and that now... And where he is, is includes you. Okay. Uh, right now, clear. What's going on as far as in his thinking? What's got, what's going on? What is he thinking? What is Bachelor Divine Master number two thinking? Let's see how I got to word this one. I got to do this in the movie. Okay, you thinking, homie. Now, let's make it clear, make it plain. <laughs> Whoa, you thinking a lot. Whoa, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, this one here. All right, I'm going to fire it off like a firing squad. That's number two says, we are each other's strength. He said he's learning how to go with the flow with where he is right now. He said... What he felt he had to do at this point, he's doing it for the greater good. So he feels like in some ways that what he's doing in this position, he was trying to not only help himself, he was helping you. He's helping the person that he's in the situation with. And he understands that maybe even on a spiritual level, he's doing it for a greater purpose or greater cause. He said he's putting up a very brave act as well. Maybe when you talk to him, he might have, Ooh, all of a sudden I got a taste of alcohol. This person might be also drinking again to kind of be able, that brave act, that, that liquid courage as well, is kind of helping this. All of a sudden, I turn this way and I taste the alcohol. So that's what he's doing. Uh, now he's saying, nope. He understands the way he's at. This nope, that's not happening. Uh, oh, stop it. No, this, this, okay, DM, you active. He said once upon a time he was with the alcohol. But he said, nope, I ain't doing it now. So some kind of way he's learning how to get off of that. Because he wants this whole new world to happen. In order for that to happen, he knows he's got to get rid of these addictions. Ain't that funny how the cards talk back to me? <laughs> and he said he lost a piece of himself when you when things happened the way they did. Either y'all in separation, not talking to each other, you're not in as much communication, or it wasn't the way how it used to be, and something had to stop for several reasons, and so that's why he said he lost himself in the process. Okay, what does Source say is the, oh, oh what, how does he see the connection? Oh, excuse me, he got to release some things, too. <laughs> a 
Okay. Uh, he said when he sees you a little bit, he knows some action, but he does see that in some ways you got to still deal with some some things. Like you've been offering your cup, but you might have been offering your cup to ego or you're trying to gain some confidence. But something about the way you're going about it that uh, he, he's not really contrary. He don't look like he's too happy, but he's still connected to you. He ain't saying nothing, but y'all both standing in the water. But it's like, you getting your cup to that, you know, like that. I think about what Daniel Boom says a lot of times. Sometimes he say, well, you get into your, when divine feminine, divine masculine, get into their power. Sometimes they have a tendency to burn uh, their counterpart because that usually goes with that. So you have to kind of watch it. I don't know, something like ego is like, yeah, I'm in my stuff now, you know. And you have a way of doing that. However, this divine masculine to be says again, he wants you to remain open to this connection. He wants also for um he knows that you are a source of like you say strength. He he needs to be nurtured with you. And uh he wants you to take him seriously because this look on his look is like woman, you my woman. This thought this plan <laughs> on this big here. And he's like, I see you kind of working on you, trying to work on you being your heart. Because he's, he's vulnerable. He ain't got no clothes on. So with you, it seems like the divine masculine here is saying, I'm, this is what I want. I mean, you know, him, he feels as if he's vulnerable. Uh, he's come there nude. He has nothing else. He feels with the divine feminine that you've got to work on how you are connecting with others. This goes twofold. He also sees in you, which is really mirroring back to him. What he see he don't like in you is really what he don't see he like in himself. So again, when he's talking about this peacock and this confidence, that's something that he was seeing in himself. He sees in the divine feminist energies, which is he's seeing in himself as far as in these emotions, they still got to work on how it's connecting to other people and still needs to learn how to get into the heart center. Okay. What does source want? Clear. What does source want? Nope. Put that back in here. There ain't that many cards. I know that. How many cards is this? Okay, I'll take that. Okay. For bachelor number two, source say they want you to get strength. They want you to find courage. They want you to become like a lamb and listen to what source is telling you of how to be able to do that. So you can be more of a listener. Say you've been acting like you more powerful in this ego but you're not being uh meek not weak but meek which means a little bit uh, uh that in between there almost like kuan yin um spirit where you're strong but soft okay and they said again with you you got to wait for perfect uh timing like the timing will come for that perfect wave for emotions for you to be able to ride and to get out of there but right now they say this time Right now, emotionally, you've got to wait. This is the divine timing card. Just got to wait on divine timing uh, with this. Okay, bachelor number three. Okay, just looking. He says, it's so hard not talking to you. Oh, and he said, I turned out liking you a lot more than I originally planned. Wow. What's the heart of the matter of this divine masculine? Clear. I know. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. He wants to get to the point that uh, he's going to be more lighthearted. It's been come kind of serious, and he really wants to extend his heart um, without the burdens. Like, say, lighthearted. I don't want to be so burdened down when I present myself to you. Understanding that um, he's saying that he knows that you all are soulmates, which, again, is another word for just saying you twin flames. That's what he knows. He understands that both of you all unlock each other. You here as the key. You have the key, which will help the love to flow and also understand it. Just like penguins represent, they mate for life. They don't look for other mates. Understanding that he's not a co-creator. He can help divine and source create this new beginning that he wants to have with you. He just got to be uh, able to look at his foundations, look at old uh, ideologies because this is like a fossilized age. This is a beginning based upon old ideologies. He's got to walk a fine line. And he's got to become wise in doing that so he can be able to run the race and have great stamina 
in doing this in order for him to be lighthearted and for that he understands that mostly he's been bouncing around out to sea not really having a destination and he understands that he's got to work on that he also knows that he wants he's been nostalgic he's been thinking about this love as well although he said at the beginning it like turned out like you more than he had planned and so he's really saying it's hard for to talk to you because a lot of times he thinks about how you all talked in the past how it was like honey it was sweet it was smooth it was very nurturing the conversations you all had helped him to put things on the table and helped him to think about union and helped him about like wishes fulfilled and you know really being able to say oh i really want to see what's at the end of the rainbow like believing in things that uh you know people might say oh that's just a fiction that's a story clear ain't no pot of gold at the end of the rainbow but him he's like yeah right now he understands that where he is is separation uh time apart from your partner is on the horizon so currently with the situation that he is in he understands it's time for him to separate he's been staying there out of honor this lady has been this uh this feminine energies that he's been with has been playing the role of uh damsel in distress say please don't go but understanding that the spirit and angels have been talking to him a while that he's got to let that go he understands where he's at right now he's moving the energies why he needs to separate because right now where he's at is chaos and conflict there's nothing for him to go around to help base him to understand that this is not a healthy place for him to be and even if he would decide to continue on with this he knows within his heart that this uh relationship or this connection would crumble he's playing himself small than what it is and really what's happening in it is black and white as far as him getting his freedom he understands that also he's moving into the energy understand it's time to go he sees his divine feminine energy is going towards the window i mean going towards the door of opportunity and he feels like again she's left a trail to say you could you know know where i'm going but i'm gonna go with or without you uh and so right now with this He's understanding that that's the energy that um, he needs to move into emotionally to leave from this situation. What is he thinking, Clear, about this situation? What is he thinking? both of them he's thinking he's got to make that change and he's also saying he at this point he's got to center himself because this person is probably um say is methodical like he's it's a method to things that he does he wants to go into sequence on some things and he understands he's got to center himself that's what it's about to me what does he think about this connection clear so this person is is the thinker here Not so many. Come on. This masculine understand this conflict. The divine feminine also is holding on to things in the past here. He wants to offer her this small little cup. He is also finding ways to um which hand is this? They're connected, but he's finding ways to try to help the divine feminine to stay open. She looks like she's kind of real carefree about it, but uh, he, he's concentrating. He's like, here's the cup. But he's that type of person that seems like he don't show no emotions. <laughs> and so it's like, here, yeah, here's this cup. You know, like he's shoving some bouquet of roses to you. You're like, oh, okay, thank you. He's like, it's like no emotions. Like, I got you some roses, you know. So that's that's what is conflicting. This one don't feel too comfortable about the emotions too much. He's cute as can be, but he don't that. This one he also understands he's in a third party situation here. This is showing here. I see the thing went black or white on that one. So he's in a third party situation. And he's conflicted about that. He understands that he still got all of you all tethered in in in, in what entanglement. This is entanglement. This all wrapped all up in here. Understand this an entanglement. Uh, right here that he's got to unravel and he's got the karma he's got 
around you and you just sit there while he's still plugged and connected into the other one, but not really actually, um, not really actually focusing in on that third party. He's focusing on you, but then looking above, it's like you make him really think about this. Also, this one says again, um, uh, he's pleasuring you, but at the same time, some I don't like the way how you look at it. He kind of sideways with it, uh, how he's doing this. But anyway, but she still, he understands when it comes to the, uh, I, I'll dismiss that. But um, he probably did it for the secret pet. So in this relationship, he understands it's a lot. You know, you kind of doing your own thing. He wants to really comfort. Uh, he's got this empress because he's touching your belly. And every time I think about that, it's like he wants to give birth to something new. But he knows he, he relies on you to be nurtured. Uh, as well and you find ways that even if you're concentrating on your own self though he's he seems like he's saying you're not a willing participant now this is what he thinks but he ain't doing nothing but mirroring his own self and you still find ways to compliment him uh at the same time so that's that's going on with them and so we got green here which is him trying to get in his heart space and you two are trying to stand in your power and be comfortable at that uh, with you too. And then when it comes to this connection, he does at the end of the day, he knows the action he's got to take. He's got to be the one that is actually, um, making some action. He wants to be the carrier of the two of you all in this. He wants to hold the weight of you two, uh, in this relationship as well. And you all are looking and focused in on each other. Uh, he was saying something to me about money-wise. Maybe you might have, I don't know, some kind of way was helping. Something material things helping him as well. Although you're on your own and your own ground, he's still connected. But you still found ways to kind of, like, still praise him. Something about in the, uh, I pick it up, financial things too as well. All right, what does Source want you? Clear. Because it's whatever it is, you still be on your own grind. Like, he's like, I'm on my own mission, but I do find ways to still uplift you, but I'm still going to keep on moving forward. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Okay, what is source this last thing? Because I was talking, and I seen the car come up, and then I started talking. Mm -mm, too many. Hold on a second. Bring it to me again. No, I don't feel like That's too many. Make it clear. Make it plain. This one say he's moving into his emperor. I think it was this one because it looked kind of pinkish. Say he's moving into his emperor. So he's right now, he's like, I might not look like I'm doing nothing. I'm kind of centering myself. Didn't he say he was centering himself? Yeah, this one I told you. I said methodical. I said that before I even got this card. He's thinking. This one here is strategizing, baby. Trust and believe. So he's sitting there holding his chest piece, trying to see how he's going to play it until the end. And he's waiting until a place like a trump card, like playing hands of cards. And he's like, he ain't going to say bam. And yet, and he got a full house until then. So right now, he's playing poker face right now. Until everything comes together, then he's going to slam that card and be like, bam, full house. I'm out of here. <laughs> this is what he's doing. So those are the three bachelors uh, there. Uh, get your love letter with me uh, to uh, for $14. Go to divineunisoles 11co where you can find out about your boo thing or your boo ski or your divine counterpart as well as far as what's in their heart. The commercial will be following afterwards. All right, as always, stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascended. Namaste, namago. Love you.